I think I auditioned for Harry Potter 4, like the Goblet of Fire, maybe even before my dad. I auditioned for Stan Shunpike and a couple of parts and did not get them. Um, and then my dad got mad I moody. He didn't have to audition. They just offered it to him. That's not fair. <laughs> and, and then I went out on set, weirdly, uh, to see dad shoot, which is amazing because I was a huge Harry Potter fan, you know, and I was like, oh, no, that's not right. Uh, and, um, and was looking at him doing it. And then they asked me if I wanted work as a stand-in, you know, a stand-in who kind of, while the actors go off and get coffee, they bring in people to stand there so they can still light around them and stuff because I looked so much like the Weasley twins. Yeah. Um, and I was also wearing a jumper that looked like I was one of the Weasleys. <laughs> and um, I, I didn't do that in the end. But then, yeah, it was crazy when I ended up auditioning for... Uh, for the last two. I was so happy to be in them. Awesome. Mm. Um, and what was it like working with your dad? Because uh, if you guys don't know, Brendan Gleeson, of course, is is his father, a very talented, wonderful actor. What's it like being uh, on set with him and kind of watching him work? It's a treat. I mean, um, it's very easy to separate for the most part because he's just an amazing actor. So I, when you're in the room with any amazing actor and, and you're involved in a scene with them, your challenge is to not be overwhelmed by the fact that you're a fan and is just to be there as an actor and try and hit them back as hard as they hit you um, with whatever way the scene is going, whether that's comedically or dramatically, emotionally, whatever it is. So with Dad, it's just like, it's always an amazing thing to see him work. I just, I just think he is at the very, very top of the list of actors that I like.